Hello guys, how are you today? My name is Santa, I mean, David DeFranco. I used to be Santa in a past life. Ask no one because they'll probably tell you the truth. Seriously guys, my name is David DeFranco and welcome to my annual holiday, no, I'm sorry, Christmas wish list video. This is something I do every single year. This isn't my way of saying gimme, gimme, gimme. Cause let's face it, I mean, I love stuff. You know, I, l let's, just, let's just get that out of the way. I love stuff. Um, right behind the camera is a HomePod, a lot of video games. Some collectibles, movies, another home pods over there, another monitors over there, a 65 inch TV here, a little audio receiver and surround sound. You know, I love tech, I love things, but the thing is, I'm always buying myself stuff. So it's not like I like need to ask people for things, but my parents quite literally ask me to send them a wish list every single year because I'm the person who has everything. And I think, I think everybody, or at least most people, have that one person in, in their life where they just don't know what to buy them. And let's face it, you don't want to resort to gift cards. But you know what? Gotta be honest, guys. I love gift cards. I mean, I don't like giving gift cards because I feel like it's boring. It's too safe. But at the same time, I love receiving gift cards because in a way, it's free money, you know? I'm like, like Apple gift cards, DoorDash, Uber Eats, whatever. I mean, especially Amazon. So um, yeah, the point of this video isn't to say, hey, I want stuff. It's just because my parents, like I said, ask me to give them ideas. I just have to put that disclaimer out every year because I'm sure I'm gonna get one or two people saying, oh, David, you're asking for stuff. You're so greedy. This is not the time for receiving. This is the time for giving. Ooh, because that's what I sound like. Urgh, I'm a tiny peep. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. This is the holidays, guys. Be nice. Be nice. All right. But you know what? I mean, for anyone who watches me, I don't. I don't gotta explain myself. I just like to put that disclaimer out there, just in case. I give back every single year for Christmas in a big, big way, and I'm very, very excited to see my parents' reactions for two gifts. I got my mom something very special. It'll be here, I think, next Monday. It was delayed a little bit, but it, sh it should be here plenty time you know before christmas and my dad i ordered him something i didn't expect to order this year uh but i found it on i think walmart and it's gonna be here tomorrow and it's actually something i want for myself so there's a good chance i'll buy that for myself in the near future anyway guys welcome this is my annual christmas wishes video typically i read the wish list off you know an ipad or whatever but this year i'm using my mid 2017 12 inch macbook i am in love with this computer Seriously, if I could have intercourse with technology, it would be this. Um, it, it's just, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But seriously, I love this computer so much and it's completely defeated my need for an iPad because I thought I wanted an iPad Air, uh, but I just love this computer. It does everything I want it to do. And please, I'm even editing Photoshop uh, documents on here now. So anyway, one of that whole blurb is typically I read my wish list off the iPad, right? Or an iPad for that matter, because I tend to get a new iPad every year or two. But not this year. I am mixing it up, guys. I am going to be reading it off my MacBook. There is my wish list. Bam! And I also have every single gift I bought for my family on a separate note. But yeah, for obvious reasons, I'm not going to show that list. Gotta be honest, we're trying to make this video a little longer than it should be because I'm not asking for a lot this year. I have very expensive tastes. Um, so for example, there's like several items I want, but I just feel bad putting on my wish list and I'll just buy those things myself um, probably later this year or early 2021 because I definitely want a new desk for my office. That alone is like over $700. I want um, a bunch of key lights and everything, which are $200 each. So I'm gonna be spending $400 on lighting for upstairs in my gaming room. And you guys get the point. I have expensive taste. So, getting to my wish list finally, David's Christmas wish list 2020 is broken down into several categories. We have video games, electronics, clothes, toys and gadgets and miscellaneous. Starting out with video games, it's no secret, I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer, I am 95% a PC gamer nowadays, but I still love console gaming. And that's why I truly do want to get a PlayStation 5 and an Xbox Series X. But neither of those items is on my wish list because, well, I, I, don't, I just feel bad asking for something that expensive. You know, the times have changed, guys. I'm not like 21 years old. I have a steady job, I have income coming in. Um, so I like to buy myself things that are more expensive. But with that said, I am in the market for a PS5 and Xbox Series X, and I check every single day online. You know, Target, 
um, Walmart and wherever else, even bestbuy.com. I say Best Buy because I don't shop there that often, but they might come through for me. But yeah, I'm not asking for the consoles. That's just something I'm gonna worry about uh, doing myself. Okay, so video games, I'm only asking for two titles. Like I said, I'm mostly a PC gamer. Um, so it's kind of hard to ask for PC games, um, except for like Steam gift cards or whatever. But uh, the first game I'm asking for is Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe for the Switch. I played this game on the Wii U. I thought it was incredible. It's kind of like a modernized classic version of the um, older Mario games. Back in my day. Um, but yeah, I just recall loving it on the Wii U. So I figured I would love it just as much on the Switch. And plus, I could stream it over twitch.tv slash David DeFranco. And next up, Final Fantasy VII Remake for the PS4. I'm ashamed to say I, that I haven't bought this yet. <sighs> I'm actually very, very ashamed. I'm not like some Final Fantasy fanboy, but if there is one Final Fantasy that truly meant a lot to me, it's Final Fantasy VII. I just loved that game as a kid on the PS1. I'm also ashamed to say this. I beat the game as a kid, but I beat it using a Game Shark. Moment of silence please, for, for all the cheaters out there. Kids are loud, but at least they're outside playing and not inside playing Fortnite. <laughs> Got them. Wait, no, that's a compliment, but it's a diss to... Moving on. Seriously, though, Final Fantasy VII, I loved it. I mean, despite cheating towards the end, because I brought back you-know-who from their death, oh, one of the saddest scenes in video game history. Who's with me? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Um, anyway, I definitely want to replay that on PS4. And keep in mind, it's not a remaster. It's a remake. They completely redid it from the ground up. But even with that said, it's not the entire game. It's only part one, which kind of sucks. But in a way, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Because in theory, I can blow through it in a few days on stream. Because I don't, I don't like games that are too long, you know? I just like a game that's long enough that I can enjoy it and say, hey... That was amazing. Let's move on to the next title. So, boom, there you go. And uh, yeah, only two games I'm asking for this year. I would ask for more if I had a Series X or, or especially a PS5, but I have neither of those consoles. So yeah, I'll just worry about that later. Hey, 2021 is gonna be a good year. You'll see. Next up, electronics. It's no secret, I love technology. Technology runs my life, quite literally. This is my job, which I'm incredibly thankful for. And I have a handful of electronics that I'm asking for this year. First up is the Google Nest Cam indoor camera. So I recently had my dad help me install the Nest Hello doorbell because we had to get it wired up and drill some holes and I don't do well with that stuff. I mean, I can have a computer built and all that stuff, but when it comes to working with actual like in wall wiring, I just don't do it. So shout out to my dad for helping me. I am loving, absolutely loving my Nest Hello doorbell. It works seamlessly with my uh, Nest Hub Max, which is in my kitchen, and my two Nest thermostats. So I wanna keep introducing more Google tech into this house. So I'm asking for an indoor Nest Cam camera. N Nest, Nest Cam, yeah, Nest Cam indoor camera. It's kind of redundant, but you, you guys know what I'm saying. Next up is the Weiserstein doorbell chime. So basically this is just like a classic doorbell chime that works with Nest Hello doorbells. Unfortunately, Google doesn't make their own Nest Chime. Like Ring actually makes a chime. I used to be a Ring doorbell user years ago, uh, but I, I've kind of moved on to Google's. I, I just think their products look better. Plus, y'all you know, say it again, my doorbell, my Nest thermostats, everything just integrates so well with my, with my Nest Hub Max. So I figured why not ask for a doorbell chime that works with my Nest Hello. And yeah, I have my phone, I have my Nest Hub Max, blah, 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 all that good stuff but you can't beat a classic doorbell chime. I actually have one on my wall up there that was configured to my old doorbell. So that's literally doing nothing. It's just sitting there looking pretty, you know? Um, so it would be nice to have a classic doorbell chime because sometimes my phone might be on do not disturb because I'm watching a loud movie and I just want to focus on what's in front of me. And well, to have a nice classic chime like ding dong, hey, baby, bring it on. I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, I had someone in my Twitch chat recently say, David, I've noticed you, you're, you're saying baby a lot. I am. I say dude a lot and I say baby a lot. Those are just my words, all right? All right, baby, calm down. So HomePod Mini, I love my HomePods. I don't use them as much as I should. I actually have two HomePods. I have Space Gray and Whites across from the room. I mean, across from each other in this room. 
They sound fantastic, but the thing is, I don't use Apple Music right now. I'm a Spotify guy, and yeah, I realize you get AirPlay, Spotify, blah, 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 blah. But the thing is, I want to move these two HomePods into my office when I get new furniture and put this Apple TV, or possibly another Apple TV, in my office. You know, on my Samsung 55-inch TV that I have hung in there. Seriously, I use that TV every single day that I'm in the office. Every single day. I love that TV. But the thing is, I'm still using the built-in speakers. Shame on me. Seriously, like if you're not using external audio, shame on you. I mean, at least you should be using an, like a soundbar. And guys, believe me, I'm not a huge soundbar person. I like physical surround sound. You just can't beat physical surround sound. But with that said, eventually I do want to put the Apple TV and my dual HomePods in stereo with spatial audio, keep in mind. All of that in my office on my Samsung TV, it could be a beautiful experience. So in other words, that's gonna free up some space in here for maybe a HomePod mini or two. So I'm asking for both. I, I don't expect to get both, please. I don't expect to get one, but you never know. So I'm asking for a space gray and uh, white. Bada bing, bada boom. Next up, Logitech MX Master 3 mouse in graphite. I'm gonna be putting that on my 2020 um, iMac Retina 5K. I love the Magic Mouse, I love the Magic Trackpad, but sometimes I do wanna go back to a traditional mouse, something that's more ergonomic. Uh, so I figured why not ask for that. And I actually have the MX Master 2S upstairs on my 2013 Mac Pro. It's never used anymore because my Mac Pro is rarely used. But yeah, I mean, it would be nice to have the newer version of that mouse downstairs in my office. And I'm sure I'm gonna get someone asking, well, David, why don't you just move that mouse from upstairs down into your office? Cause I don't want to, I don't know. It just feels weird bringing an older mouse in. Yeah, I just want the newer mouse, all right? Get off my back. Next up is the Magic Keyboard with numeric keypad. Space Gray, yes, the official Apple Magic Keyboard. Now, I do have the official Magic Keyboard Bluetooth version already. And I realized I probably should have opted for the Space Gray version, it was like $30 extra when I bought my iMac. Shame on me, I know I'm saying that a lot. But sometimes you just don't think ahead, you know? But I definitely wanna go for the darker electronics, hence why I'm asking for the Graphite Logitech mouse. And I figured it would go great with the space gray version of the Apple Magic Keyboard. Yeah, it's $149, it's not cheap, definitely not cheap, but it is a mouse, I mean, a keyboard that's gonna be used every single day that I'm in the office, so obviously it's gonna pay for itself over time. So, there you go, electronics that I'm asking for. I'm sure there's more stuff, by the way, so if you ever wanna see the updated playlist, wish list, go to that URL right below, davidfran.co slash wishlist. I update it every single year for, for uh, Christmas time. So this wish list that you're hearing right now could very well be outdated from the wish list that you could see on my website. So go check it out. Clothes, um, Vans shoes. I love Vans, but I, I rarely buy myself shoes. And hoodies. I'm a big fan of hoodies. Even though I just realized this doesn't have a hood, so I guess it's really not a hoodie. It's more of like a, a sweatshirt in a way. I, I, don't, I don't know what to call this. It's like a hoodless hoodie. Makes sense. But yeah, Vans shoes and hoodies, I love them both. Next up, toys and gadgets. You're never too old to ask for things like this. But even with that said, these aren't necessarily toys. They're really gadgets. I just didn't want to update the category title because like I said, I could very well be adding new items to this wish list on my website. And who knows, some of those items could be toys. And I don't mean like adult toys, if you know what I'm saying. I mean like desk toys, lights and all that stuff. Okay, so I have two items in this category. I have the PlayStation Icons LED lamp which is exactly what it sounds like, just LEDs that symbolize, quite literally symbolize, the PlayStation icons, or the PlayStation symbols on the controllers. You know, the X, square, triangle, and circle. And by the way, fun fact, I believe this is a fact, the X is not technically an X, it's a cross. Think about it. I mean, it's a cross. X is a letter, whereas the other icons on the controller aren't necessarily letters, they're shapes. And a cross could be viewed as a shape not a letter. So, there you go, I taught you something today. Or maybe you knew that already, I don't know. The next item is an Elgato green screen MT. Shout out to my dude Danny Manic, he alerted me of this months ago, but I'm, I'm sure I would have seen it eventually. So, for anyone who doesn't know, green screens are a great way, a fantastic way of upgrading your overall stream production quality. You know, lighting and all that stuff, your background, because the green screen quite literally knocks out your background. Or you could put any background you want, for that matter. I mean, if you want to put yourself in a mansion, you could. If you want to put yourself in prison, 
You could. Do it, baby. Why not? So yeah, I mean, I definitely want an Elgato green screen, but the thing is, it has to mount to either the wall or, for me, the ceiling. I refuse. I absolutely refuse to put a green screen that's just going to be sitting on the floor. I despise, absolutely despise the idea of stepping over a green screen every time I want to go to my desk or walk away from my desk to get a coffee, use the bathroom, whatever. I hate that. I like things that are out of the way. So this seems absolutely perfect for me. I can quite literally pull it down from the ceiling, and then when I'm not using it, retract it back into the ceiling. How cool is that? Like that is just perfect. And my gaming setup is not moving anytime soon. I mean, it's gonna be updated with a new desk and stuff like that, but it's always gonna be in the place it is, at least while I'm living in this house. So I figured permanently mounting a green screen to the uh, ceiling in front of my setup Perfect, and plus it's about time I actually use a green screen. But even then, when I don't want to use a green screen, again, just retract it and you guys can see the background of my gaming room. It's like, it's, guys, it's quite literally a win-win. Whether you want to use a green screen or not, that's just an absolutely perfect product design. Elgato props. And honestly, I could probably get it for free because I've done Elgato work before for them. But no, I mean, I need ideas for this wish list, so I figured I'd put it on the list. Woo, I'm gonna need some uh, water after this, but knowing me, I'm gonna have a coffee too. Finally, miscellaneous category, coffee. Speaking of coffee, guys, come here. No, seriously, come here. Coffee. I love coffee. Coffee's amazing. Yeah, you just can't argue that with me. I love coffee. It's, it's no secret. Um, I probably drink, no, I definitely drink too much coffee, but more coffee. House stuff. You can't, actually, you might be able to see it right here. No, you can't. But up there, I have blank spots for window curtains. Over there, I have a, an empty pole for curtains from my back door. Same goes for my office. Thing is, I spent a lot of money on electronics, I spent a lot of money on like on all, all this other stuff. But when it comes to house stuff, like putting things on walls, like paintings and curtains on windows and stuff like that, I just don't prioritize that stuff. I'm a dude, what do you expect? I'm a guy. Technology and coffee and like things like DoorDash are always gonna come first in my eyes. So please, mom, dad, if you're watching this video, save me from these bare walls. Save me from these bare windows. I need curtains in my life. Darn it. Try not to curse, it's Christmas. Let's be cool guys, let's be cool. So yeah, house stuff. From curtains to area rugs. What, what, what do people put in their houses? I don't know. And finally, all the gift cards in the world from Amazon to Wawa. You don't hear me mention Wawa often, but hey, I still love Wawa. To Sheets. Uh, Rudders. Uh, Uber Eats. Did I say that? DoorDash, Steam, Fortnite. <laughs> just kidding, joke of the day. And yeah, I just love gift cards. What was that? Gift cards are cool, guys. Gift cards are really cool. And if you get it from me, thank you. I appreciate it. No, okay, not you. But I know I'm gonna have some people wanting to send me stuff to my PO box. And if you have no idea what to get me, please don't feel the need to get me stuff. But I do have people asking. Gift cards are always a safe bet. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna throw that out there. But please, worry about yourself, worry about your own family and your own friends and all that stuff before you worry about me, you know? Please, and please, donate to charity if you can. Donate to charity before you send me anything. I say that because I, I, I'm not gonna be rude and stop you from sending stuff that's the whole point of opening the P.O. Box, you know, so I can make gift opening videos for, for um, you guys, but still, it just feels weird saying that out loud, but I have to make that disclaimer anyway. And there you have it. Per tradition, check this out. Bye bye. I still have to get that label off, but it, it, it's okay. I just got to get that goo gone. I actually think I do have goo gone or gooby gone, whatever it's called. I just have to actually do it, but you never see it. So it doesn't really bother me. Look at this thing. It's beautiful. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, friendly reminder, if you are not participating in a YouTube holiday 2020 yet, the heck are you waiting for? Get off your butt. No, no, no. 
That's the thing, you can sit on your butt. It's not that hard. Set up a camera like this, set up your iPhone, set up your Android phone, whatever you have. Just record a simple 30 second, 60 second, whatever clip for a YouTube holiday 2020. All the details are right below. Please, the more participants I can get, the better. As of this recording, I have like four or five videos. Now granted, I tend to get most of the videos like the last week, you know, uh, that's just what people do. They wait until the last minute. Trust me. I've been there. I know I know exactly how you feel But uh, yeah, the point is please send in more videos the more I can get the better Let's make this the best YouTube holiday collab that we have ever done Not I have ever done We have ever done because let's face it 2020 has been a crazy year So I figured that's just a perfect opportunity for all of us to come together and make something make something to look back on for years to come so guys there you have it. There is David's Christmas wish list for 2020. Let's continue on with the holiday madness, all the holiday cheer. This is by far my favorite time of the year, and I love sharing these videos with you guys around the world. Thank you so much. I hope you're enjoying your Christmas season, your holiday season, and all that good stuff, and I'll see you soon. Peace. Isn't hat hair just glorious? This thing is still amusing to me. <laughs> it's so cool. Lucky take. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, Frosty. Here, take your nose. I just want to show you this. What? How do you. Oh. Oh god. He's falling apart. <laughs>